Okay, now that we've got all the skills to tackle looking at how to solve a complicated trig equation like this, okay, and we're going to probably we're going to use this unit circle with these coordinates to answer this question, but um, um, I'm just telling you this now. So in the future, you're going to have to try and work that out for yourself. So what we have is this: root two times cos bracket theta take away three pi over four close bracket, plus 1 equals 0. And we're going to try and find answers for theta which are between pi, let's say actually, let's just say 2 pi and minus 2 pi. So we're looking for answers for theta which are going to be between these two parameters. Okay. Now let's, uh, let me copy out that equation again. So root 2 cos bracket Okay, I'm going to leave that bracket there for a moment, okay, plus 1 equals 0. Well, what we need to do is get to a stage where we have cos in this bracket, okay, and I know we've got theta sigma 3 pi over 4 in there, but we'll get that bit on its own. So let's try and get this this particular bit on its own, okay? Let's try and get that bit on its own. So first of all, we need to get rid of the 1, plus 1, so we need to subtract it. So 0 take over 1 is minus 1 that side, so we'd have a root 2 cos and then that big bracket okay now we need to get rid of the root 2 so we'd have to divide both sides by root 2 we get minus 1 over root 2 equals cos and that particular bracket okay and what I want you to do is just forget about what's in there for now we're going to come back to that in a moment but what we want to do is got to a stage where we've got cos of something equals minus 1 over root 2 and like I said to you we're going to do it without a calculator which we could have I mean if we had a calculator we could just do cos to the minus 1 of minus 1 over root 2 and it will give us some number, right? And that will be our answer. But we're going to do it without the calculator. Okay, so how do we go about doing that then? Well, first of all, we're going to use this circle because here we go, we've got our minus 1 over root 2, so it's automatically to do this circle. And remember, we're looking at cos. So cos is to do with the x component, okay, cos. So we're looking at cos of some angle, or cos of something in there, that gives us minus 1 over root 2. So which coordinates have that? Well, we have this one has got minus 1 over root 2 as the x component, and this one as well. So we're looking at these two. Okay, that one there, first of all. So, right, one thing that this thing inside the bracket could equal, okay, it could equal this large angle. And remember, these are all pi over 4. So we've got 1, 2, 3 of them. So it could equal 3 pi over 4. It could equal that, right? Okay. And then this one as well, okay, you could, this large angle here, okay, that also gives us minus 1 over root 2. Let's see how many bits we've got. There's 3 there, uh, 4, 5. So it could also equal 5 pi over 4. Right, and there you're 2, okay? So cos of that bracket, so that thing inside the bracket, okay, could equal 3 pi over 4 or 5 pi over 4 as well, okay? But there are multiple solutions. Remember the cosine wave is repeats okay and repeats every 360 degrees or 2 pi so we can work out some other answers first okay other potential things that this thing inside the bracket could equal just by adding 360 and taking 360 away from it but remember we're working in radians okay so let's take the first one 3 pi over 4 and let's just add 2 pi to that okay so let's add 2 pi to that, then if we add 2 pi, well, we need to get a common denominator, so we would, um, to write that over 4, <clears throat> to write it over 4, I would need to, oh, sorry, I need to, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I need 8 over 4, right? Okay, that's uh, 2 pi, right? 8 over 4. Then I'd have 3 plus 8, that would be 11 pi over 4. Okay, so there's another potential answer. This thing inside the bracket could also equal 11 pi over 4. Okay, just getting a little bit confused in my notes and what I was doing here. I should really concentrate on the screen, but never mind. Okay, and let's let's go the other way as well. Let's let's do three pi over four, subtract two pi. So take away three sixty because remember it says we want answers between two pi and minus two pi. So maybe some negative ones as well. So let's take away two pi. Again, two pi is the same as eight over four. Okay, so three take away eight is going to be minus five pi over four. Okay, so we got minus 5 pi over 4. Okay, so these are the answers they could be. Okay, rubbing that out. 
Okay, let's look at this, the second one we got. Remember the 5 pi over 4. And let's add 2 pi to that. Okay, 2 pi is again 8 pi over 4. That's a common denominator. And 5 plus 8 is 13. Last time I checked, and that's 13 pi over 4. So we could also have a 13 pi over 4. That thing in the bracket could be that. Or let's do the 5 pi over 4 take away 2 pi. Okay, or that's the same as 8 pi over 4, 2 pi, 8 pi over 4. Right, 5 take away 8 is minus 3 pi over 4. So it could also equal minus 3 pi over 4. Okay, so now let's bring that bracket in. Okay, let's bring that bracket in because we now know that whatever we do cos of, it could be one of these answers here, okay? One of these, okay? These six potential answers. There's more, but I only want to look at these, okay? So one of these could be in the bracket, but what do we have in the bracket? We have theta take away 3 pi over 4, okay? That's what we have in the bracket. Theta take away 3 pi over 4 is what's in the bracket. And theta take away 3 pi over 4 could e equal e e any one of those six. So let's try and work out what theta could potentially do. Let's work out Okay, we'll list them out here. So first of all, um, theta take away 3 pi over 4 could equal 3 pi over 4. So what would theta need to equal? Well, I'd add 3 pi over 4 to both sides. So theta would equal 3 pi over 4 plus that one to the other side, 3 pi over 4. I'd have 6 pi over 4. That simplifies to 2 goes into both of them. So it'd be 3 pi over 2. So one answer is theta could equal 3 pi over 2. Is that between these two parameters? Yes, it's less than 2, and it's greater than minus 2 pi, so that's fine. Okay, that's one of them. Okay, and okay, I'll do this one down here. Theta could take, hang on, theta take away 3 pi over 4 could equal 5 pi over 4. So I'd need to, to work out theta, I'd need to add 3 pi over 4 to all these, so the, to that, so I do th 5 pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4, which gives me 8 pi over 4. Okay, and then that simplifies to 2 pi, right? So it could also be 2 pi. So really, all I need to do is this. It's a simple equation to solve, really. I just need to add 3 pi over 4 to all of these, right? Okay, just add 3 pi over 4 to all of these, and these are all the potential answers I could have. So if I add 3 pi over 4 to that, if I add 3 to that, I get 14 pi over 4. I'll let you simplify it. 14 pi over 4 is 7 over, 7 over 2 pi, but 7 over 2 pi is bigger than 2 pi, so we can't have that, okay? So that one's out of the question. Um, this one here, if I add, okay, so let me rub that one out. That one's out of the question. Okay, let me rub out all this as well. Make some space to work on. Okay, so if I add, okay, if I take minus five pi over four, what have I written 54, I don't know. Minus five pi over four and add three pi over four, I get minus two pi over four, which is minus a half pi or minus pi over two. So minus pi over 2 is a potential answer, and that's between these two parameters, so that's okay. So this one's fine. Okay, this one's already bigger than 2 pi. Okay, so if I if I add, because 4 goes into 13, well, it goes into uh, 3 times remainder 1, right? So um, it's definitely bigger than 2 pi. But if I add 3 pi over 4 to that one, it already it makes it even bigger, so that one's out of the question. So it's just this one here, 3 pi over 4, minus 3 pi over 4. Okay, minus 3 pi over 4. Um, and add 3 pi over 4, I get 0. So 0 is another answer. So theta could be any one of these. Like it might, there might be some other answers because maybe I haven't taken off enough 2 pi or added enough 2 pi. But there could be other answers, but um, potentially... These are it, and if we if we check one of them, okay, let's check. Uh, okay, that minus pi over f two looks good. Okay, let's check that into here. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do? And uh, okay, let me rub out some stuff. Okay, so and no, actually, let me let me do it down here. So we're gonna do root two times cos, and in the bracket, let's pick this. Let's check that one. 
minus pi over 2 take away 3 pi over 4 plus 1 and we're trying to get what are we trying to get 0 okay so let's see if that gives us 0 okay all right so this is going to be quite a big thing to type in root 2 remember to push across times cos and in the bracket we've got fraction we've got minus pi over to push across take away 3 oops no we don't want that 3 pi over 4 I think it was wasn't it okay, we'll find out when I press press 1 okay on the outside and press enter what do we have here why don't we get that's a really really small number we should get exactly zero. We should get exactly zero. Um, let me just double check. Did I work that one out properly? Okay, what was that one there? Uh, where did that one come from? Did it come from this one? No, it didn't. It come from this one, didn't it? Um, minus pi, minus five pi over four, plus three pi over four. What do we get? We get minus. Yeah, we definitely get minus two pi over four, which simplifies to minus a half. Okay. Right, um, well, let's just clean it up. Maybe it's, it's just the computer being funny. Okay, let's just clean it up. Minus pi over 4. Okay, well, we can write that. Minus pi over 2, we can write as minus pi, uh, minus 2 pi over 4. So let's just let's just clean it up. I mean, at the moment, it, it looks right to me. It's just a really, really small number. It's, it's 5 times 10 to the power of minus 14, which is a really, really, really small number. It's like, it's, it's like 14, it's 0 with third, zero point with 13 zeros and a five at the end so it's really really small um, but it should be exactly zero so I'm just trying to try and find out why that is okay so um, right so this bit inside would have a minus 2 pi over 4 replacing that just making the fractions have a common denominator so what do we have inside we've got a minus 5 pi over 4 okay so we're going to do root 2 times and this is equivalent to minus 5 pi over root 4, so cos of, hang on, yeah, we are dealing with cos, aren't we? Yeah, cos of minus 5 pi over 4 plus 1. Okay, well, let's, let's try that. Maybe the, the little rounding error may go away. Root 2, push across, times trig cos, and we're going to do minus 5 times shift pi over 4 and then add 1 to that do we get 0? no we get a really really tiny number well ok you know we'll do, ok that, that, that number there ok that, that ok where is it gone that number there that 0 point uh, 0 point that, that 5 times e to the power minus 14 is a really 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 small number really small number so it is practically zero I think there's just a bit of a rounding error you know what I'm, I'm not really happy with this so I'm gonna do one more okay it should be exactly zero so I want to just double check it. right let's let's do this one here and now let's do the 2 pi okay so we're gonna do root 2 times cos of um, 2 pi take away 3 pi over 4 plus 1 and um, I want to get zero so let's just double check that so root 2 push across times cos and in the bracket 2 pi take away get the fractions written up 3 pi over 4 plus 1 and we get 0 thank god for that right we do get 0 so at least one of them works okay that, that one's just a clearly it's a funny one right I'm not happy about that but there you go right there's doing the trick equations without using the calculator